Welcome everyone to another episode of Hashtag Ask Simplest. My name is Carlos Vaca Guzman and I'm a Salesforce project manager here at Simplus. Um, I've been in the technology industry for about six years and specifically in the CRM industry for about almost four uh, in different roles and uh, I've worked for a Fortune 100 companies as well as startups. This week's question is Salesforce support tickets. There's a lot of questions about that so I wanted to talk about some best practices in, in regards to, to the support tickets. Three main things to keep in mind when you're doing that is, first of all, when. So when you're writing a, a ticket, you want to make sure to put in when the problem happened. This will help Salesforce give them more information about that. The second thing that you have to do is mention all the steps that you have taken in order to try to solve that problem. Uh, often people try to, they just, they just put, oh, I have a problem with this and don't mention anything else. And this slows down the process because then Salesforce support will have to get back to you asking you for more, more details. And so you can definitely accelerate that process by giving as much information as, as possible with all those details. And the, the third thing that you, you have to do is reference um, any other information you have found in order to try to fix that problem. Uh, this is very helpful to them and it also helps the whole community as you're, as you're finding resources. Uh, that might, might have the answers for what, you, what you're trying to solve. A couple other things to keep in mind, it's always give them time, time to respond. Normally, uh, it, it takes about two business days, and so don't wait until last minute to, to send those tickets. Uh, try to do it as soon as you find those. Don't wait until the end of the project or the end of the, uh, the, the sale or what, what, you, what you're going through to wait. Try to do it as soon as possible. And Finally, don't be afraid of, of putting a support ticket. Often people tell me that they, they don't do it because they are afraid that Salesforce is going to get mad at them or anything like that. Don't be afraid of doing it. Um, they're there to help, and the more information you can give, the better. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Hashtag Ask Simplis. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask those at Hashtag Ask Simplis or at Simplis Now.